Hello everyone, in today's quick tutorial I will show you how to encrypt your string with IS and decrypt with also IS in SwiftUI project using a Crypto Swift library. So this is the simplest way to do this. The first thing you need to do is find this library, so this HTTPS link, go to Xcode, file, add package dependencies, add this dependency here, find it, add package and that's it. You are good to go. The next thing in this example, what I will just use this uh, some realm view which I used for some other tutorial, it's not really important here. What is important is in on appear, I will do this. I will I will try to encrypt hello hello world string as encrypt with some key with some in initialization vector we will print the encrypted value in base64 uh, string then we will from that uh, from that base64 script encrypted we will try to decrypt again with as with this key and initialization vector and print what we decrypted and that's it that's really simple thing to do uh, in, and also in this example what I made is uh, I use these uh, two uh, functions as extensions to string but you can also make them just regular functions that's up to you so the first thing we need to do is on top of the file import crypto swift and then we need to make two functions we need to make function as decrypt and also okay for the first one I will make ice encrypt so we will first firstly encrypt our string here is some key of type string I we also string and this function can throw something so we need to make it throws and it returns again string. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is may, uh, make data so uh, we need to use self, self is string on which is this function called so this is hello world string on this string we need to convert it to data using utf8 so we have now we have data encrypted so let encrypted and now we will try to we will try to make is with key key and block mode and also padding for our key this is of type array array of our key dot utf8 block mode is cbc dot init with our vector which is also of type array again if dot ut utf8 and for padding for padding we will use dot pkcs7 and dot encrypt dot encrypt with uh, unsigned integer unsigned integer 8 uh, unsigned integer 8 like this of data okay the next step is let encrypted data data from this encrypted uh, from this local local variable and we need to return encrypted data to base64 encoded string I 
think that I have some mistake here. So let me check real quick. Try eyes with key array with block mode cvc.init array of iv array of iv.utf8 padding is 7 encrypt I'll try to build this now to see what is the problem value of type data must be unwrapped okay I see we can just make, make this here because we know that string is not nil okay the first uh, function is done the second function is is decrypt and in this function we also have key and initialization vector it can also throw, throw some error and it returns string okay here we we are doing the opposite work so we are getting data from our uh, from base64 encoded our string is self okay let decrypted so decrypted value is again try is uh, I think that I just that I can just copy paste this here whole value to make this a little faster and just for the end part here we use decrypt here we use decrypt with I'll just make this decrypt okay and now we need to uh, make decrypted data so we need to use data decrypted return a string bytes decrypted data dot bytes and encoding is in our example dot utf8 I will try to build this now okay value of, of optional type string must be unwrapped to value of type string uh, I will use just this and we will make some default value again try to build this project As we can see now build is successful i will run this on my physical phone but you will see here down here uh, this so we encrypted hello world we got it in base64 string type and from this type we decrypted to hello world string So that's it for this tutorial. I will leave you this code in the description below so you can just copy paste it and use it in your project. Again, the first thing you need to do is just add this library to your project. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can find a lot more useful content about SwiftUI and iOS programming and see you in the next video.